Good morning. This is Patrick Bukti giving a practical talk on storyboards to animatics. This is for Animation 2, Fall 2020, Zide University. First, I want to give you a roadmap for this lecture. I want to go through animatics, the role of animatics, animatics versus animations, animatics versus storyboards, and setting up an animatic. And actually, we're going to start sound, working with some sound, and I'm going to send you to some sound sources and give you some expectations and just go over deadlines again. So, you may ask, What's an animatic? Well, it's basically just, you know, you giving a visual representation of your story. It's a visual sequence of shots and set up with timing and with sound effects. So really the goal is it is to just kind of setting up the timing, seeing how this is, it's almost, it's almost like halfway between an animation and a comic. So it, and then when you're done, really what this is, is this is going to be kind of a template for you to animate over. So really what this is, this is, you know, the heart of the pre-production process. So, you know, they're used all over the place. Television, animation, live action movies, everywhere. Every, anywhere you see a sequence of shots. So the thing is, is that uh, they were originally created by filming drawings with a camera and then editing the film to various scenes. And then the thing is, is that really we could be doing animatics in Photoshop, After Effects. Uh, there's even an online thing called Boards that's um, also kind of interesting, but we're going to use Premiere probably. Anima animatics versus animation. I don't have this moving, but you can see here that this is more of a sketch and this is much more finished. So the thing is, is that um, really what happens is that um, you know, it's really just kind of like your, your sketches in time versus your finished animation. But the thing is, is as I said, it, it can give a template. So, animatics actually use your storyboard images, but you put them into Premiere and you, uh, you, you stitch them together and render them out. So the thing is, is that um, although they've got a lot of things in common, there's a few fundamentally different things. So here's some benefits. Usually, you can do animatics pretty quick. And the one thing that I'm definitely going to want, you know, is that you might be tempted to have all your images in with the same length. Don't do it. This is basically showing me what your timing is going to be like in your animation. You know, this is, this is basically what it amounts to is a, a sketch in time of your animation. But the thing is, is that if you have your storyboards and you move around the time and use ripple, ripple edit in Premiere a bit, you'll be fine. And as I said before, animatics are a reference point. So the thing is, is that when you're working on the animation, or you could have the animatic all rendered out on a lower layer in something else, you could be working on top of it. And you could use it for reference for your frame timing. So what happens is that then, if you do that, you know, you don't, get all lost in trying to do it all in your head. 
And then the thing is, is that then you can focus on kind of like getting the way the story gets told. And there you go. Okay. You can make quick changes. So the thing is, is that since animations are just sketching and not final images, you know, you can just basically just pull a shot, put another shot in. And, you know, these are just, these are just rough drawings. So it's okay. And then animatics create agreement. So the thing is, is that if you're, you know, doing this and you're showing this to a client, this is the first time they actually get to see this start taking shape. And then you can kind of get an idea whether they like it or not. Fair enough. So that's where we are with that. Also, doing an animatic really saves you a lot of time. And if you're doing this for money, it'll save you a lot of money too. So what happens is that you're basically taking all the stuff in your storyboard and then you're getting the sense of timing that you're going from shot to shot. So in this case, you know, you're not taking whole bunches of hours filming or drawing or whatever. And the thing is, is that after you get your animatic done, you know what you want to do. And that's the great thing about it. So you know what's going to work and what isn't. You know, um, and I think the thing that you know is that making an animation takes a lot of time. And this is the reason why we're doing this animatic. So you know exactly what you want to do so you can concentrate on getting this done. As I said, one of the things that I'm most interested in with you is trying to make sure that I'm giving you a quick, flexible, efficient workflow. Another video is going to show kind of putting together an animatic just roughly from, um, I'm, I'm going to probably just find a bunch of storyboards from someplace, put it together and give you an idea of what, um, what making an animatic would be like. I'll also give you a couple other tutorials as well. So the other thing that's included in an animatic is that although you know, they're not polished, but the thing is is that you might have some arrows, you might have you might have a little bit of motion, you might have a little bit of character effect or movement, and this is why I was talking about making your source images in layers. So, you just want to consider that. And for this assignment, I'm really going to be focusing on trying to get some sound in, trying to get your timing taken care of, and really having you know where you're going. And that's it. Let's talk about sound a little bit. Um, we haven't talked about that yet. Saying... Professor, do you want sound? Uh, in the animatic, yeah, I do. I, I kind of do. So there's two things. You've got music, and actually there's this other thing called diegetic sound, and there's we won't go into that. But you know, there's this uh, sound effects, which actually they call Foley. And it's just, just the sound effects you'd expect in the cartoon. And the thing is, is that back in the day, there used to be a guy named Jack Foley who was the, you know, uh, the greatest special, I mean, sound effects artist of the time. And the thing is, is he had things like squeaky doors and breaking glass and all these things. And now you can go out on, you can go out on, um, free sound and find pretty much almost anything you want. The other thing is that 
Foley was also used to cover up unwanted sounds that they captured on the set while they were filming. Like when they're fly, uh, when the plane's going by or passing traffic. Remember, in the old days, film wasn't digital. You couldn't edit stuff out. Okay. Here's a couple good sound sources. Freesound.org. Tons and tons and tons of sound effects. Uh, you do have to get a um, account. It shouldn't be a big deal. And then also Incompetech, which is Kevin McLeod. He's got literally hours of free music that you can go through and, and, and look at. So, um, sometime either next week or later this week, um, I'll look at, we'll look at how to do sound. We'll look at how to edit sound in, in Premiere. Okay, how do you set up an animatic? I'm also going to do another video which talks about this. Um, although they aren't really polished things, I mean, you know, you want to talk about camera movement, you want to, um, and some character movement and all that. Maybe use some arrows, all that. But what happens is that what you need to do is you need to get all your storyboards at HD resolution 1920 by 1080 as PNG or GIF files or JPEGs, just something that can go in there. The other thing that uh, you can also import Photoshop files into Premiere and maintain layers, and that might be a good idea too. We can talk about that. Um, and start looking for sound and, and, and sound effects. So what I'm, what I plan to do is I plan to do another video that uh, shows setting up an, a, an animatic with some um, with some layers. I'll honestly probably wind up using some backgrounds and uh, clip art, honestly, uh, because that's kind of how I work. And then um, I'll show you how that works. Put in some sound. Well, I'll make a crude animatic maybe in about a half hour. And so, technical specifications for the animatic. So, basically think about this, is that this is really sort of like the sketch in time for your final. It's HD, 1920 by 1080. 24 frames per second. H264 MP4 encoding. Okay. A few things, some expectations. I want you to time your scenes. Notice each of these shots is a different length. I want you to time your scenes as they will be in the animation. If you just go and drag your um, images in, they'll be set up for five seconds a piece, and that doesn't cut it. And start roughing in your sounds. As I said, I want about 10, 15, uh, you know, about a little over 10 frames. Um, I mean, ten, a little over 10 shots, and those can be single images. Start dragging in some sounds into Premiere. I'll give you another video that talks about that. Okay. Deadlines. Everybody's been talking about deadlines, and what am I expecting, and all these things. Well, here are the deadlines that are done. Um the character sheets, all that, that was September. Uh, storyboards are at the end of this week, October 15th. Basically, what I'm talking about is the animatic being done 10 days later. And then really, to tell you the truth, I'm just going to 
do a number of things to talk to you about um, how to set how to set up animations, how to do character animation, all these things. Um, that I hope that you just start getting to work, and I'm going to be giving you from the end of October until the beginning of December to turn out a minute of animation. So there we go. Uh, some of the other things, the assignments, just, um, you know, you've been working with logo reveals. Um, those are already due, due the 1st of October. Uh, this, the parallax animation, which is now on the, you know, like with the cat and all that, I have the project and I have everything out on Blackboard in the teaching materials, and um, that is due the 19th. What I want is that I want you to just basically change everything out and do roughly the same thing. Um, there's a couple of camera angles, um, things that I'm going to do, like a pan and zoom and a field of view exercise. That'll be due the 26th, and then uh, the last assignment is going to be the end credits. And that uh, will be due on the 19th of November, which is kind of a strange date. But the thing is, is that I want to make sure that we have time maybe for a revision. Um, because we'll put that in on like the 26th. I'll give you a day. You know, I'll give you over um, National Day to work on things, and we'll, I'll give you another day to keep working, and then we'll just review everything on the last day of semester before finals, and then you submit everything before finals. So there you are. Um, I think I'm missing something. I think I might be missing the poster. I think... That's it. Yeah, yeah. There's actually what they call a, a promotional package. Um, I'll put this in um, into the into the PowerPoint, and I'll talk about it in class. So, uh, and it will be in the uh, it'll be in the project for a brief. Which actually, since it's the common assessment, uh, it will the Project for a brief will actually be in the teaching materials. So, thanks so much. I hope this eliminates any confusion, and um, we will go forward. Ah, here we go. Okay, animatic do. Uh, October 26th, I'm going to talk about animatics. I'm going to actually release these things as PowerPoint and YouTube because of the fact that I'm in a place that has really bad bandwidth. And we'll see how that goes on. Animatics is um, on the 12th, which is a couple... Of, I'm doing this on the 10th of October 2020. And then I'm going to do a field of view... A field of view I actually uh, filled a um, and then Zoom tutorial on October 15th. Um, I think the thing I am missing is the promotional package and the poster. And um, that'll be part of your final project. Okay. Um, okay, that's it for this. And the, next, and the other thing I'll include is um, basically setting up an animatic. And I'll give a couple of tutorials as well along the side of this. So anyway, thanks a lot.